Wake up, Solana. Wake up. It's time to eat breakfast. Wake up. Are you ready to eat breakfast so you can head to daycare? She's still a little tired, guys. So, so now what I'm about to do is go ahead and sit her at the table and make her a quick breakfast because she did wake up a little bit late and we're not running late, but I don't have time to prepare her something big for breakfast. Okay guys, so you guys' niece is still a little sleepy and tired. She's not a morning person, just like mommy, but let me grab her unicorn. You guys know she always has her unicorn friend and push her in a little bit more so now i am going to grab my laptop because the tv is kind of far away and she's not able to see so she's going to watch some tv on my laptop and then i'm going to hurry up and do her breakfast okay so i'm going to go ahead and put something on for her to watch yeah, you're gonna watch Peppa, I know, I know. You guys heard her, she's like, Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig, yes. We're gonna watch us some Peppa. Or she's gonna watch her some Peppa. I still need to get ready, but I have time to do that. So, no rush for me, but for her, daycare starts at 8.30. I'm supposed to be there by 8.30. Oh, goodness. So yeah, let me tell you guys her schedule really quick. Daycare starts at 8.30 a.m. Well, she has to be there by 8.30. Usually it starts at 7, 7.30, but her start at 8.30, which is good because it gives me more time to get up with her. And since I have training right now, when I'm in training, I don't start until 10.30. So this is really, really good for me. And it's also good for her because she gets a chance to sleep in longer. So I really do like the time that this daycare starts. The only thing is, since I am in training, and training is so much like later because 10.30, that's like so... I mean 10. I have training at 10, not 10.30, sorry guys. But since I have training so like late in the day, I don't get off until later. So you guys will see like all of that. But She's watching Peppa. Okay guys, so we're running out of time, so we are just going to, well she's just going to have some Pop-Tarts for breakfast. She likes the Frosted Blueberry Pop-Tarts, and I really wanted to get her the Unfrosted just because of the sugar in here, but they didn't have any Unfrosted, so we got the Frosted, which of course she was excited about it. But yeah, so I'm going to make her some Pop-Tarts. Her Pop-Tarts are in the toaster. If you guys don't heat up your Pop-Tarts, what are you guys doing? They're the perfect, quick, easy breakfast. I, like I said, I don't have time to make her eggs or bacon, even though that would have been really, really yummy. Plus, she had a big dinner last night, so I didn't want to feed her too much anyways because she's like, my stomach. <laughs> so yeah, but a banana probably would be good. Solana, do you want a banana? Okay, well, she doesn't want a banana. Do you only want your Pop-Tarts? I got you two. Okay, well, she only wants her two Pop-Tarts, so... Those won't be in there for long. This is a couple more seconds. We don't put them in there for too, too long. She doesn't really like them burnt. Also, I don't want them too, too hot. So, I already got a plate. right here i'm going to quickly pour her something to drink and she's going to eat so while she's eating she's fine sitting up here by herself i'm going to grab her drink and then i am going to pick out something for her to wear she's sitting up some more and she's really into peppa which is kind of how our morning always goes every time i put on peppa she 
tends to forget about her breakfast and she just watches Peppa. And I'm like, you can eat and watch her, but I'm going to have to either take Peppa away for a little bit, two minutes so she can eat or something because she's like not touching her food or even worried about it right now. Wow, so Lana is finishing up her pop tarts. I am now looking for her something to wear. And before I get her outfit together, what I do first is I go on the weather app and I see how many degrees it is. So I check and it's currently 60 degrees. The highs will be 66, but it's cloudy. So more than likely, there will be some wind outside. Even with the sun, there's still wind a lot of the time. So I don't think I want to put her in anything too short sleeves. I was thinking maybe this with some tights under it. It's a long sleeve and that way she doesn't have to wear like a jacket or anything. So I'm thinking this just with some pink tights under it. I think I might just go ahead and put that on her for today. Okay, so let's check and see how Solana did. Okay, she finished her Pop-Tarts, which I knew she was going to. The Pop-Tarts, they aren't really filling, but they will hold her over until she gets snack time at the daycare. So I am going to pause this. I already know she's going to have a fit, but I'm going to pause it because it's time to get her dressed and do her hair. And then after that, we have to go. I'm going to drop her off at daycare and then come back here and start work. So I have about 25 to 30 minutes to get her dressed, do her hair, and then drop her off at daycare. Let's go ahead and get her ready. Let me pick her up. I know, I'm going to grab your unicorn. Oh, she has some pop tarts. See, she made a mess. I always tell her we, we're going to have to start putting her bib back on, but she never wants it on and she always takes it off i'm like no i pick her i pick her no bib and this is why so i'll have to clean that up later when i get back ignore how i look i look bad i know i always get her ready first since she does have to leave first but let's go ahead and change her outfit i'm gonna show you guys what she's wearing and then go ahead and change her also i didn't tell you guys this sometimes when she doesn't want to sleep by herself in her big girl bed or well it's a toddler bed but if she doesn't want to sleep by herself then she does climb in my bed and she does sleep with me i'm trying to break her out of the habit of doing that but she does find herself waking up in the middle of the night and then coming in here and sleeping with me so that's what you guys saw earlier when i woke her up she was sleeping in my bed but we're gonna go ahead and get her changed on my bed and do that crazy hair all right guys so let me show you guys what she's gonna be wearing this pink shirt but it's a long sleeve shirt and it'll probably fit her a little bit like a dress so instead of putting jeans or jeggings under it I could have put leggings under it, but I decided to go ahead and put her pink tights on underneath it. And then she is going to be wearing her cute little boots. Her brown boots, I thought they would be cute with it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on her. And when we're done, we are going to go ahead and do her hair. She really likes this shirt. I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, it's cute, but she really likes it. And... I know it's Friday, so I decided to go ahead and
put it on her for Friday but yeah she actually really does like that shirt I mean it is cute it has like some really nice detail so I was like okay we'll do this shirt for today since it is a little bit chilly and well not chilly but I know it's cloudy and it might have some wind out there so I decided to do this for the long sleep plus it's gonna start getting well we thought it was gonna start getting more warm outside but it hasn't it's been raining here and super cloudy she get a chance to wear it since it is long sleeve so that's why again i put it on here but let's go ahead and change her out of her pjs and into her outfit i wake from my slumber i wish i could call you up okay guys so she's all dressed and i thought that this would look a lot cuter in my head but <laughs> We are not feeling this at all. She thought we were stealing you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go grab some jeans, which she also likes to wear. She just doesn't like to wear them a lot, though. But we're going to grab some jeans and just put them over her tights because this doesn't look too good. So, she's just going to wear this with her jeans, which I you know she's probably going to be upset with, but she'll be okay her shirt is more like a shirt instead of a dress the last time she wore it it was a little longer on her so she could get away with it as a dress but she's getting taller and bigger isn't that right so that is why it no longer can fit like a dress here's bubbles and i just got done from putting her jeggings on i mean it would have looked nice with some leggings, but I really don't have time to go back and look for anything else. These were just right in the drawer, so I just were able to pick them out fast. But I don't have time to go through all of her clothes, and she does have a lot. I don't have time to go through all of them to find some better pants. So this will work, and she still looks very, very cute. So now we're going to go in the bathroom, wash her face, brush her teeth, and do her hair. And I'm running a little short on time, so we do have to hurry up and do that usually we have enough time for everything and we plan accordingly but since mommy decided to film it we are running a little bit behind but she'll get there when she needs to we're now in the bathroom and we're going to wash her face hold on till you can't explain i'll be clinging on to you i'll be clinging on to you let's get in all those eye crusties and eye bookers Next, we're going to go ahead and brush her teeth, make her toothbrush. And guys, she's upset with me. She's always upset with me. So she usually has like her little kid toothbrush, but you know you're supposed to throw them out after every three months. So her three months has passed. We have a pack of new ones that she has used, and. She's upset about that because they don't have any cartoon characters. They're just, it's just purple. So she's a little upset about that, but I'm going to get her, her character ones as soon as I get an opportunity to go to the store. But here's her purple toothbrush, and then this is the toothpaste we're going to be using. And she's mad at me too because we don't have bubblegum toothpaste. Well, I told you to stop eating it off when you're supposed to be spitting it out, so. She was gonna have to use the regular tooth, her regular toothbrush, and regular toothpaste. Her face is washed, her teeth are brushed, and now it's time for her hair to get done. And we are actually now right on time and right on schedule. So we're ready for that. We're not going to be late or anything. And we're just going to do her hair. Oh, well, I'm going to do her hair. We're just going to do a quick, simple style because if I try to do anything, that'll take longer. We're going to be right off schedule again. And she's going to be late. And we don't want that. So we're going to do a quick style for her. Too fast, live too fast. Ain't no such thing as too fast. So I am done with her hair and I know it probably
long because I took a while, but this style actually took less than 10 minutes, especially since I didn't go back and perfect it. Anyways, I decided to do a zigzag pigtails. So the part is supposed to be zigzag like this, like uh, 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 uh. There's another one that's pretending like this, but like I said, I wasn't perfecting the parts because we are on a time limit but I left some hair on the back and this is how the front turned out so yeah it's just zigzag pigtails not hard at all to do okay we'll brush that back since our hair is like shorter Do a ponytail sometimes they can't fit and they just like stick up and be flyaways. So instead of them sticking up, I just brush them to the front and lay them down. So, yeah, this is how her hair turned out. And now we are going to be leaving. Actually, like right now, I'm gonna put her shoes on and we're gonna head out the door. Don't mind me, guys. I am still in my PJs as I haven't got ready for work yet. Get her ready first since she has to move first. And so. This is how she looks, so cute. Then we're gonna put her shoes on and we're gonna go out the door. She keeps looking out the door because she wants to go. She's excited for daycare because usually on Fridays, if she does good in daycare for the whole week, we go out to McDonald's or like a play in the play area. She gets a happy meal. Sometimes we go to Dairy Queen, get something to eat, get ice cream and go to the park if it's hot and nice outside. Today is not, so today would have been her day for McDonald's and playing at the park, but I may just have to get her McDonald's and she won't be able to play because the time I have to pick her up from daycare is my lunch break and I have to be right back at the house to get back for training because training, the hours for training interferes with her schedule. So usually we would go play at the park or play in the playground at McDonald's, but Day, we won't be able to do that and I haven't told her that yet until right now so yeah I'll have to talk with her off camera and let her know that she won't be able to play even if she did do good so I'm hoping still she does good at the camp okay so we're gonna go ahead and put her shoes on and after I put her shoes on she's gonna be wearing these round boots that I showed you guys earlier but after I put these on we just want to go ahead and head out the door I'm going to grab her water and her lunch that I packed for her with her snacks and then her unicorn we're gonna head out the door and she does have her little backpack diaper bag whatever you want to call it however I do just leave it in the car uh, the only thing I take out of is her lunch box so that I can throw away the stuff she didn't eat and then I can repack it but as far as her everything goes for her diaper bag or her backpack I just leave it in the car that way it's easier for me that way I don't have to carry so much stuff out the house and then accidentally forget something so I only bring her in the house with her lunch box when she comes home from daycare and I leave her diaper bag in there and what's in her diaper bag is just an extra pair of undies with well, two extra pair of undies then there are a few pull-ups in there and there are I believe two short sleeve shirts one long sleeve shirt a pair of pajamas extra socks and I think that is all that is in her bag. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really I don't really swap anything out unless she uses it. So like if she got her outfit messy and they had to change her to something else, then I'll bring in the diaper bag, wash the outfit and swap it out with a different one. But I don't really remember exactly what's in there because she hasn't had to change clothes in a month which is really good because she does get messy sometimes and clumsy 
So yeah, so we got her shoes on and now we're going to head out the door. Okay, come on, Solana. I dropped her unicorn. Can you hold mommy's phone for me? <laughs> While I grab all your stuff. Oh, hold your unicorn. Okay, mommy can have her phone back. So we're gonna go ahead and just get ready to go and leave the back so you starting to look a little bit when i checked the weather it was cloudy for the whole entire day so i guess it is gonna be a little sunny but you guys can't see the trees right now but i'm looking at the trees and it is very very windy and i have all these stairs to walk down with solana every morning and all of her stuff so i am going to turn this off drop her off at daycare and then if I have any other updates, I'll go ahead and update you guys. Okay guys, so I am back home from dropping Solano off at daycare. And we made it just on time. It was 8.28 when I got her out of the car. So we arrived at like 8.26 at a park. And then I took her in. Now what I'm going to do is just clean up her mess, like clean up her plate with her pop tart. Wipe my laptop down because it looks so messy. If I have enough time to do that. Um, clean the seat off with all of her crumbs from the Pop-Tart. And I know I'm out of breath. And that's because I just got done from walking up those steps. And I don't have to pick her up until 4 o'clock. Which is fine because that is my lunch break anyways. So it really worked out perfectly fine. Well, well let me rephrase that. My lunch is at... 3 30 today sometimes we have schedule that sticks with like the times for breaks and lunches sometimes we go over that and so it's a different time but for the most part it's the same time but again sometimes we go over the time that we're supposed to be at lunch or break so we have to just do a different time whenever we get done it does pretty good while i'm in training we do have to keep our cameras on but she does really good i give her either my laptop or the ipad and she gets a snack, her drink, and she usually just watches that. And I know I don't try to give her electronics all the time, but she usually watches that pretty good and she's very quiet. So that is the good thing about it. Well, I wanted to update you guys on and I probably won't talk to you guys until later today when I get Solana. Okay guys, let me turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down, okay? Solana's a little loud and mommy has to finish the video. So I'm going to give you guys an update on what has happened since the last time I talked to you guys. It is pretty, pretty late since the last time I spoke to you all. So I'm just here to give a quick update on everything that I didn't film and that you guys missed. So right after I dropped her off at the daycare, I had came back home and I got ready for work. I was at work the whole entire time. I took my lunch at 3.45 and then I went to pick her up from daycare usually we get out at 3 30 but then today we had got out at 3 45 but that was okay so i was able to pick her up from daycare and i got her her mcdonald's so she ate her mcdonald's and she had the ipad but now she's watching this on the computer but she had her mcdonald's and then she had the ipad to watch tv on and then when i had went on my break i had got her some snacks so that she could eat that and then she did have a coloring book and she was coloring and then she went back on the ipad and i had got off at 6 30 well around 6 30 wasn't exactly 6 30 and then the first thing i had did was i changed out of what i was wearing because it was like kind of formal attire and i changed it to something comfortable i just got sweats on right now let me let me see what time it is okay so 7 18 and this is what she's watching i don't know what this is guys but this is what she's watching she wanted to watch it so that's what she's watching right here and i think for the rest of the night because she does have to go to bed early because we have to get up early tomorrow morning so she has to go to bed super super early so it's already seven so tonight I wanted us to watch a movie since we didn't get a chance to have our little one-on-one -on -one time 
at McDonald's and we didn't get a chance to go to the park. So I wanted us to watch a movie, but I didn't realize like how late it really was. And I want her in bed by 8.30. So we're not gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna let her finish this up because she just started it. This is 30 minutes. So she's gonna finish watching whatever this is. Then she's gonna get in the bath and then go ahead and get ready for bed. And by the way, guys, she is sitting on the floor. We don't allow outside clothes on the bed. However, she could have sat on the couch or the chair, but she wanted to sit on the floor, so we're down here. That's pretty much it, her unicorn. You guys know her uni is never far. Oh, goodness. And I don't think she drank any of her water, so I'm actually gonna not force her, but have her drink some more of her water because it's like almost still filled up to the top. I have to find something for dinner to make her. We'll do that in a little bit. I have bubbles here and the lighting is probably bad, but I went ahead and just made something super easy, simple, fast. I had made spaghetti. I had ate. She ate already. I didn't get a chance to record it because it's about to be her bedtime. So I'm going to now put her in the bath and then I already have her PJs picked out. So she's going to be wearing because it's kind of warm in the house. Even though it wasn't warm outside and it looks like it's about to rain, but she's going to be wearing this gray shirt with these pajama pants. She seriously has to get matching pajama pants, but I always lose her, either her top or her bottom. So we just kind of match match as long as it's pajama pants or pajama shirt is pajamas. I'm going to go ahead and put her in the bag. I'm not going to wash her hair actually. Since I'm not going to wash her hair, I will have to tie it up with a scarf because like I said tomorrow we're waking up early and to save me some time and to let her sleep for a little bit longer before she actually has to get up and we have to get ready to go. Her hair will already be done and all I have to do is just put the leave the scarf on for the rest of the night and it'll just look like this in the morning. So anyways time for bath bath time bath time alright guys bubbles just got out of the bath and I already went ahead and Dry, dry off with blinding on here with a towel and look how cute she looks her hair like i said i didn't wash her hair so her hair didn't get messed up or anything like that she's very careful in her bath to make sure she didn't get any water or bubbles or anything like that in her hair which i appreciate a lot and so look how cute she looks in her towel Cute little feet hangling and dangling. She's getting so tall, isn't she? She's growing so so fast. But I'm now going to just go ahead and change her into her PJs before she throws a fit. So let's go ahead and change her into her pajamas. Okay, so I just finished changing her into her PJs and it is like 8.20 I think. So she is going to be going to bed at 8.30 tonight. For the remainder of the time before she goes to bed, I think she's just... I think we're just going to spend a little time together since like I said we didn't really get that one on one. And when she does go to sleep, I am going to be editing this video, catching up on emails, watching people's videos, and everything that I can do before I have to go to sleep myself. Sometimes she likes socks on and sometimes she don't. I asked her if she wanted socks on and she said no. So. Her little toesies are going to be free for tonight. As you guys saw when she woke up, she did have socks on. So like I said, sometimes she likes socks when she sleeps, sometimes she doesn't, sometimes she wears them and kicks them off. Alrighty guys, let me turn this down a little bit. It just started so- Okay, so it is currently 8.22. When I was like, it's like 8.20 something, it wasn't. It's now just 8.22. She's going to be going to bed at 8.30, but 
I did decide to put on a movie so she can fall asleep. She's watching How to Train Your Dragon. Let me know if you guys ever saw it before. If you haven't, they do have it for free on YouTube. So just search it up and it's free and you guys can watch it. We have literally every streaming platform you can think of. Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV+, Plus, Amazon Prime Videos, everything you can think of. But she just loves YouTube. She loves watching stuff on YouTube. I try to change her to go on Netflix, see if there's anything she wanted to watch. No, she wants YouTube. So <laughs> that's why she's watching How to Train Your Dragon on YouTube. Anyways, guys, I know towards the end of this video was not, I, I didn't show much for her night routine and I kept it really simple. And I just basically told you guys everything that I've done instead of actually showing you guys. And I'm going to be honest, I am a little tired. Like I said, I worked all day and then I was filming this video while working, which is really hard. It's a lot. And, oh, I forgot. I forgot I have a lamp right here. I'm like, we're just sitting in the dark. <laughs> Okay, we were just chilling in the dark, but uh, I have front-facing camera on, so she probably looks really, really bad. Let me see if I, I'm gonna switch it and use the back camera. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, so I do hope this is focused for you all. All right, so I'm hoping it's focused for you all. If it's not, my apologies. The video is pretty much over anyways. But like I was saying, the reason why I didn't show that much that many details towards the end is because I am really, really tired. Like I'm pretty much exhausted. So I did want to kind of just knock out this video and have some time to edit it before I go to sleep so I can post it tomorrow morning. Again, I do want to apologize for not going into details for her night routine, but I did just do a night routine a little bit ago, about like a week or two ago. So if you guys want to see me go into details for her night routine, then all you have to do is just go ahead and check out that video. And it shows you everything that we do. And I didn't skip over anything, I don't think so, in that video. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, that is the end of this video. That is Solana's day in the life. And this is actually only my second time ever doing a day in the life of my channel. And I've been recording since 2017 and this is my second time doing a day in the life i've done plenty of morning routines night routines afternoon routines daycare routines everything i've done everything but this is only my second time doing a day in the life so i do hope you guys enjoyed it and i may be a little rusty because i did take some time off from doing the routine videos for about like almost two years so so i just started getting back into the groove and again, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram, you guys can go ahead and do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborn. If you guys want to sign up and join my email subscriptions, you guys can go ahead. It is 100% free. It's just me sending emails out to you all. So it does have some reading to do. If you don't like reading, then probably don't sign up for it. But yeah. I I think that is everything that I have to say. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when we post another video. And I will talk to you guys later. I really do hope you guys enjoy this day in the life. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your family, friends, or your YouTube community. And comment below so I know that you guys liked it. All right. You guys have a wonderful night or day whenever you guys are watching this and we'll talk to you guys later bye while I was working So if I could look for you I'll show you